Woods Hole Research Center is a private nonprofit uh, research organization, about 50 members now. Um, we st we're started in 1985. Um, we've been in this new green building since 2003, so we've been here about six years. When the time came and we couldn't find space enough for us in Woods Hole, but we did find this nice parcel of land, <clears throat> and we decided to put up a building, uh, it was an opportunity to make, make a statement. We, given the changes in climate that are going underway, that are faster than expected, given the consequences of that, we thought it's best, it, you know, set an example, get off the fossil fuel habit. What could we do to run this place without fossil fuels. And we needed to supply the rest of the balance of the power. And from the outset, we knew that this was going to need to be sort of a, a hybrid strategy for collecting renewable resources, because this isn't the Nebraska of wind, and it's not you know the Arizona of sun, but we do have moderately strong renewable resources available to us here. And um, the reason we chose the North Wind wind turbine was because it was, it was the right size, the scale of the power that would be generated and sort of the financial scale was about the right size for what we needed to accomplish here. And um, it's also, it's, it's a modern designed machine. It's, it has, you know, no gearbox, fewer moving parts. Um, it's electronics are modern design, power systems, electronic engineering and all those things were what we really wanted in, in a wind turbine. We did. We, we went up and visited their, their original prototype up in Vermont, and, and that was impressive, and it was clear that that was you know, one of the original working, working models, and we know that they've had a long history, a fairly long history, servicing their, their installing and servicing machines in Alaska, and that was something that was compelling for us, knowing that this, you know, this machine's um, design history came out of super robust implementations in Alaska and um, it's it's taken a while for this project to mature for us because we've been watching the development of this design and we needed a we needed a tall enough tower because we have trees around here and we needed a, a rotor design that operated well in moderate wind regimes and this is what we have here is, is a moderate regime um, so this machine really serves um, serves our our needs. Yeah, we did do a, a wind resource assessment, and and what we did was we actually had a 30 meter anemometry tower that we installed not on the crest of the hill, but um, off to the side, about 15 feet down from the crest of the hill, and we were, learned pretty quickly that yes, this is in fact a, a place we have modest wind resources, and trees have a real effect. And I think after about two years of data logging, we you know. We're pretty confident that is about a ten and a half mile an hour wind resource site at 30 meters, and so we thought we better go to 40 meters to make this a, a cost-effective installation. And so, with the 37 and a half meter installation and moving it up to the crest of the hill, um, we're confident that we'll be producing on the order of 160,000 kilowatt hours a year or better. That's a fairly conservative estimate, and that's you know. That's a decent amount of power and it really serves our you know, requirements quite well.